Hello, hello, my lovely. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another Will I Buy It? Yes, another one. I don't know who I am, but I'm doing two in a row. There's just a lot of new makeup and I want to chat about it. I think it's fun to see all the new releases. I am very much on into Instagram lately. I know I'm not the cool kid now, but I really love it. So I see a lot of new makeup floating around and I want to talk about it. So let's chat about it. This is a Will I Buy It video totally based on the Will I Buy It series from Samantha March. So I will have her channel link down below. Also the community playlist where a lot of other creators are doing this type of videos and telling you what they think of new releases. And of course, I'm also and always forget to say this but i'm also going to link all the instagram pages i use for my information because if they wouldn't be putting that out there i wouldn't know what to tell you so yeah i need to shout them out as well and if this is your first time here then hi welcome my name is Anna Chris, and on my channel i love to play with color as you can see i love colorful makeup but i always try to keep my looks a little bit more toned down I don't need to be the next Instagram baddie. I just want to play with color every day, but I also have to work a corporate job. So I have to look a little bit presentable. And if you're like me, if you want to play with that colorful eyeshadow every day, but you don't really know how, then please consider subscribing because babe, you are at the right channel for that. I upload two times a week on Wednesdays and on Fridays, and sometimes even on Sundays, like today. I am uploading on a Sunday. It's a bonus video. So please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. And yeah, oh, don't forget to ring the bell because the bell is a thing. The bell is very, very important. Okay, without further ado. Oi! Am I hurting you? No, 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 no. Then for sleeping at my feet and I woke him up. Whoops. First up, I saw a, I think it's more of a sneak peek type of deal for spring next year from Too Faced. And normally I am totally not into Too Faced. I'm not going to talk about that like palette they have released year after year after year after year for holidays. It's the same one every dang year. I'm not going to talk about that. So this one though, this looks really, really cute. <laughs> The packaging is sucking me in big time. I love, I have these little birds over there. I love everything. I have big peacocks behind you. You can't see them, but I have like big peacocks behind you. I love this aesthetic. I love the butterflies. I love the color. I even love the color scheme in the palette. Who am I? <laughs> the only thing I think I love it is because there is like a shimmery green and little like light turquoise in there. I'm such a sucker for like a pop of something interesting. But I think this looks really cute. It's really cutesy cute. And even, even the Better Than Sex Mascara. Have, they have a Better Than Sex Mascara and I put it in two different uh, colored, like a, a different packaging than the normal packaging. But this is so cute. You have one for the regular Better Than Sex and the other one is waterproof. Ah, this is totally, the package got me sucked into buying the makeup type of thing. So I'm going to move on quickly. I don't see anything about prices yet or release dates, just spring 2020, 2020, 2022. Oh my God, that is going to be a thing, 2022. Holy Moses. All right, I am moving on to the next one. This is um, a new product from Olaplex. I personally don't use Olaplex, but I think it's interesting that everybody loves it so much. So I want to try it one day. It's just that I have a system. I have a routine and I'm using Sebastian the Dark Oil collection. And my hair, is, my hair is eating it up. I haven't been to a hairdresser in a year, but as well... As besides from the split ends, I think it still looks really nice. And for like keeping that, the brassy tones out of my hair, I use the Fudge Purple uh, Shampoo. But this is also purple uh, shampoo. It's a blonde enhancing toner shampoo. It's just, I use the same from Fudge. But this is from Olaplex. So if you're a big, big, big Olaplex fan and you have like everything in your routine already from Olaplex, this is something you might love if you are like me when you have blonde or grayish um, hair and you want to keep the cool tones there. Let me see. It's coming soon. And I don't see anything about prices. You don't have to lay, leave it in very long, just one to three minutes. Or if you want um, some more intense toning, then up to five. It's the same with like the fudge one. If you keep it longer, in longer than five minutes, then it will go a little bit more purpley. But I love this. I personally love the, this color in my hair. I love it. So yeah, that is coming. 
Then, um, Patrick Ta is revealing a new mascara. It's the Major Volume Mascara. Um, and it says that it's intensely black, ultra, other ultra, ultra, ultra dramatic. I so hate to read all these descriptions because it's like, it's a lot. Ultra dramatic mascara that gives your lashes the ultimate volume lift and definition. I think that is really, it sounds nice. I would love some lift. I would love some definition and I would love some volume, but Normally, you don't get all of them in one mascara. I do get a little bit excited about mascara because I don't, I don't have the worst lashes, but my lashes are somewhat straight. They don't want to keep the curl, so I need something that really can hold those baby up, babies up. And I want definition because, like right now, I don't know if you can see. I'm using the lash brack from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one, it's a mini. Oh, getting out of frame. This one, it's the mini one. I really do love that, but the formula is a little bit wet, so they drop down a little bit. But I also love the Montier Big, but they don't have a lot of... It's not... You don't get as much definition with that mascara as you get with this one. So if this is like the holy grail, next thing, everything combined, then I could be all about it. It's launching on the 9th of September. That is already because it's like the 11th today. Ooh, it's 9-11 today. That's always a bit, bit of a thing. So it's already launched. You can get it on Sephora, Cold Beauty and Flannels Beauty. I might pick it up and try it out, but not tomorrow. So that's that. Okay, then I have something from Milk Makeup because they have released a Hydro Grip Eye Primer. They already have a Hydro Grip Primer, but now they have come out with an eye primer I am a little bit like, okay, but is that gonna work? Because the Hydro Grip is really, you have, to, you have to leave it on for a little bit. I've never tried it. It's just going off of my friends of YouTube. But you have to leave it on a little bit so the, um, it gets really sticky and tacky. And then it just grabs onto your foundation, which for foundation is the best. It's great, of course. But for eyeshadow, if it grips and it won't let go, you can blend. So I am really curious to see how this is going to work because it says our new 360 degrees eye primer is made to be worn two different ways to lock in both eyeshadow and under eye concealer. You see, there you go. There you go. That's, that's, that means it helps prevent creasing, fading and smudging for up to eight hours. Yeah, but can you still blend? Because if it's going to grip, can you still blend your eyeshadow? Because it, if it's going to grip onto the concealer, which I think is great because then it won't move, but you want your eyeshadow to move. I'm really curious. You can already get it. It's a, it has launched yesterday as I'm filming on Milk Makeup and uh, Sephora for $24. I think that is, that's an okay price. I think that's okay. It's not cheap, but it's, it's okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, or could you, is it more like, maybe they mean it could be more of a, um, like shimmer and enhancer and a like glitter glue type of deal. Maybe it's better to do, to use it for that purpose, not to blend out matte eyeshadows. Okay. Then I have something new from Sigma and I, um, I am in this Facebook group from Samantha March. It's, um, the secret Sam squad. And people were a little bit divided. And also on the beauty news page, a little bit divided about this because they feel it's a bit of a cash grab. But I will put up the video I saw Karen Harris take of her PR package. I must say, I love the color story of this palette. That teal with like the warm neutrals. Yes, baby, bring it to me. I don't always need a lot of like extreme colorful, um, colorful eyeshadows in one palette. I really like to just play with neutrals and combine them with colors. So I really like this. I'm going to take the little clip she made of it. Stunning. You have like that beautiful teal, the purple, the deep, the deeper green, the deeper blue. I can really see it very well. And then that very bold, uh, gold and a very bold silver. I think it's nice. I would love that. The rest of the collection I'm not that interested in because I don't... Yeah, it's like... I, I, I Give me the eyeshadow. I don't need blush palettes or duo palettes or I have enough of those and I never use them. So, 
and brushes same thing i like sigma brushes but i like very specific sigma brushes so maybe i should do a bundle <laughs> who am i kidding okay then we go to nars because nars has revealed their holiday collection for 2021 and um, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot of face palettes, eye palettes, mini palettes, duos, everything. There is a lot of lipsticks, brushes, a cushion foundation. And it's all in, I think, gorgeous packaging once again. It's really fierce. I had to think of the word. Um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. I think I am on the chick, yeah, the chick profile official page. And she says, how many palettes are you counting in the NARS Holiday 2021 collection? A lot, girl. A lot. I, um, I don't really have a lot of information here. It's just because I um, I just wanted to save her picture because she has everything in here. But I think you have one, two, three eyeshadow palettes, two more face palettes and one duo. That's the orgasm. I saw it's the orgasm again, like a lighter and a darker version. And then you have a bigger eyeshadow palette, which I think look nice, but it's because there are greens in there and I'm a sucker for green. I think it looks nice. It's a beautiful collection. Once again, I also like that if you look at the palette uh, in the middle on top of the brush set, it's really light, but I could be into that. It looks cute. Is there anything else that I am interested in? Well, maybe the lippies, but the lippies look a little bit metallic, like the three in the, for me, left. Is it also for you to left that corner? I don't know. Next to the cushion foundation. Meh. The other ones, I can't really see them, so mwah. The eyeshadow, the brushes, mwah, mwah. The cushion foundation looks interesting. I really want to try some more cushion foundations. I don't have any, so I would really love to try, but I don't know. Do, should I try one from NARS, though? No. I think this looks nice. I think the, the, the palette for the face is also really nice, the, the one with the six pans. I think it looks nice. It could be something. But I have the Overlast palette and I'm, I'm an, it, it's enough. It's enough. I don't really love the formula of the um, uh, highlighters because they developed hard pen, I think. The blushes are stunning though. Okay, I found a lot of indie as well this time. The last time I didn't really talk about indie, but I do love indie brands. So I have this. Can I just click on more? I have something from Indie Makeup Hotspot, and this is a palette from OC Beauty Shop. I, I've never heard of this brand, but that's okay. It's a nine shadow palette, and it has these blues and oranges in there. There are two press glitters in there, and normally I would say I don't need a press glitter, but I'm wearing a press glitter today, and I think it looks so cute. So maybe I should reconsider that opinion. I must say, I'm never really opposed to press glitters necessarily it's just that i don't use them a lot so i think it's a little bit of a waste if they are in a palette but in this palette i'm wearing the sapphire palette today i think i talked about it the other time the other last week the other week <laughs> this is the little press glitter i think it is so dang cute right i'm going to i'm i'm i have filmed this look i'm doing a second look and then i will put up the video um so yeah this is i think it looks cute i think it looks cute with like the baby pinks and the baby blues it's just not something i will pick up it is 28 dollars so if you want to get it then you can go to oc beauty shop website all right then the next thing from lime crime they have revealed an upcoming bushy brow pomade pencil say that's six times in a row fast it comes in nine unique shades, five neutral colors, and four vibrant colors. It gives your brows instant volume and texture. It's long-lasting, smudge-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. Well, that's nice. And I think it's interesting that they have like five neutral tones and four vibrant. So you have like four colored tones. I wouldn't wear like a pink brow, but you do you. It's like I, I know this beautiful girl from Norway. What's her name? Anki or Ani, I don't remember, but she she does her brows a lot of the times, all types of colors. So I think someone like her would love these. And uh, yeah, the other ones look really nice. I think they also have one for a redhead, so that is always good. It looks really nice. It's coming soon. Well, it's coming soon. It's already here because it launched on the 8th of September. And you can get it on their website for 18 US dollars. And I think it's going 
to come to retailers as well. So yeah. Then there is a restock alert. I've, I think I've talked about this sponge. I'm just going to keep it a little bit short here. But there is a restock, I think for Halloween. Well, I know that it would be for Halloween because it's a little ghost and it's so, so cute. It's from Base Blue Cosmetics and it's $13. So you can get it. It's a Halloween limited edition sponge. Wow. Clever of my, clever of my. Okay, then I'm going over to um, the new Nikki Tutorials skincare line. It's called Nimya or Nimya, Nimya, Nimya. Why can't yeah Nimya? I'm sorry, Jesus, Nimya. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Makeup craze is a little bit sassy. She says, another day, another, uh, well, you know. I was wondering what was taking her so long to release a brand. And a lot of people are a little bit confused to why she's releasing a skincare brand. But I think it is because her mom is a beautician here in Holland. She has her own beauty salon. So the knowledge is there, I think. And I think a lot of these influencers are like, yeah, but I don't want to be like every other influencer who is releasing a brand. I'm doing skincare. Yes, you wouldn't expect me to do that, would you? So I am a little bit like, you know, you do you, boo. And I think it's, I should support a fellow Dutchie and, you know, all that jazz. But for me, a skincare brand, someone who wears like, seven layers of makeup like seven layers of foundation very high coverage you can't see her face anymore she changes completely and she does a skincare brand uh it's like color me confused a little bit because i would get it your base needs to look good but she is really known for putting on a lot of makeup like almost drag makeup and then you come out with a skincare line it i get that you want to be different and i get that yeah, you can spin it any way you want, but it's for me, it's I'm, I'm, let me say this. I'm not going to try this. I'm not going to get it, I think, or at least I hope it will be sold in Holland. It would be weird if it wouldn't be, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. There is a cooling eye stick in here that is $22. You can get a moisturizer and primer hybrid for $30. That could be something. Then you can get a license to glow serum for $37 and set it and forget it. Setting spray for $25. It's mattifying. A mattifying setting spray. That's not for me. I don't like that. And then blow before you go. <laughs> blow before you go. Blow before you go. Okay, hon. Uh, for $15. It's a fan. That fan is nice. I think that's the fan um, everybody got because Jacqueline Hill used it. So I think that is funny that she has her own. Yeah, it's nice. I might get the fan, but other than that, yeah, that's not me. Okay, I'm going to go over to the next uh, thing. It's also a... Um, indie brand. It's by dreamy.coco. I have never heard of that brand but i think this eyeshadow palette looks really cute because you have teals you have blues you have some neutrals to ground the look and you have a very light almost white silvery shade so this is cute as i said i've never heard of the brand i couldn't say anything about their quality you get five mattes four shimmers for 18.99 and you can get it um for pre-order there's also a bundle but what is in there as well Oh, you get a lip gloss for $28.99. So the lip gloss is around 10 bucks. Then something that is announced. It's a new collab between Midas Cosmetics and someone who is Cole MUA. Let me see. Oh, it's a guy. Armando Gol. Cole. Or is it? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he, him. Oh, ew. guy. Sorry. I'm a little bit sometimes confused with the pronouns. It's not to be disrespectful in any way, shape or form. It's just like, oh, ew. I say guy. But does he want to be pronounced as such? But good. He is. He does. This is really nice. I think it looks really, really cute. It's just very, very neutral, warm toned palette. And I have like a thousand of those. So this is not something I want to get. I don't know the um, collaborator. I don't know the guy. But yeah, I think he's cute. He's young, I think. He does beautiful makeup though. Did he do the makeup on these girls? Wow, you should check out his uh, Instagram. It looks really nice. Um, do I see anything about pricing? Not yet, but it will be available on the 16th of uh, September. So that is 12, I think Thursday. Call it, I'm up, don't, don't, I, I, I'm not sure. Okay, then there's something new I would love to get because I think, 
it's also neutral but you have a green shimmer more like grungy orange in here and a berry it's just a color combination is a little bit more intriguing it's a new palette by Ace Boutet I'm just like please spill the tea it is called the falling for you palette it has 12 shades uh, with eight mattes and four shimmers um, it is $34.99 and you can get it now at their um, website they have also released their new formulated palette so they have a few palettes i don't know if they did all the palettes and have reformulated all the palettes but they have the flare palette and those four in the series and the one with all the greens and the blues and that one like this i don't know if it's a c theme but i always think of the c when i look at that uh, when i look at that palette this is something I would, would love to get. I think it looks really nice, really beautiful. I'm going to see... I mm, Who is stalking Ace Beauté in Europe? Is it Beauty Bay? I'm not sure. Maybe Bougie Shop? I will have to check. But I think this is really nice. Um, if I can get my hands on it, I will definitely buy. And I will want to try the new flare palette, the new formulation. But I think I should get that from the website. Because if I get it from a stockist, I don't know if I get the new one or just the old one. There's a sneak peek for the new holiday collection from Hourglass. They are coming out with two palettes. Those ambient light edit powders. You have the universe and the universe unlocked. Um, one has more lighter shades like a hmm you have like a light packaging and a dark packaging the dark packaging has somewhat darker or deeper um, blushes but the lighter packaging has more of a deeper bronzer it seems like they also say they have a um there's also a new ambient lighting palette volume three for medium to deep skin tones three new shades eternal light transcendent light and prismatic strobe light um, I wouldn't, you know, the thing for me, I think it's a bit difficult for me to speak on if this is dark enough. If I look at it, I would say yes, it is. It looks dark, so I hope it is dark enough. <sighs> Let's hope Hourglass is finally coming into 2021 and are, or like, well, <laughs> I don't know when should we have started catering to deeper skin tones? I don't know, a long time ago. So yeah, I hope this is something that will fit deeper skin tones truly. We will get a lot more information when it's released, which is on September 24th. Okay, I'm going on. I don't see anything about pricing, but I think they're going to be around $80 again. I, they're usually, I think, around $80. Then something from... Armani Beauty has released a new eyeshadow palette that is a bit... Um, I was like, isn't this a blush and a highlighter or just a very confused, what's it going to be? This is an eyeshadow palette and I think this is, it looks beautiful. But I don't think this is a very useful, you are going to blend all those shades together and I don't really think there is a lot going on. This is really like that wash of color, no makeup makeup. It's not for me. I think the packaging looks stunning. I think the um, imprint looks stunning. It's it's quite a big palette, but I thought it would be something like a highlight blush hybrid type of deal. Just swirl your brush and everything and you get some like universal shade type of deal. Yeah, no, this is not something for me. It's called the Ice to Kill Eccentrico. It's $117. So if you feel generous towards yourself then go your gang i think it's already is it already here i think so it is currently available on selfridges so if you want it you can get it over there okay then something from m cosmetics they have launched cosmic pearl eyeshadows they are 26 dollars each and they come in six shades i think or seven seven shades you have luna which is a light silver moonrise is a rosy champagne you have wish which is a warm golden champagne venus is a rose gold helio is a or helios helio helios it's a set in copper. Star Child is multidimensional rose shimmer. And you have Scorpius, which is a cranberry. I think that 26 bucks for a single eyeshadow. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. If I would get anything, I would get one. Uh, I would get either Luna or Moonrise. Because I think those are the most beautiful colors. The rest is just 
I have that in eyeshadows. I love to have, if I have a cream eyeshadow, I love to have it like a pop and pizzazz. I don't need something like a copper or a cranberry. I'm not into that. I really want to try M Cosmetics. I really am going to try to get some stuff for um, Black Friday. And if this is on sale for a good deal, then maybe. But 26 bucks, I think is a bit steep. And then there's a new Natasha Denona palette. It's a mini. It's a mini Metropolis. Ooh, that's exciting. It looks exciting. And this time, I would argue that this is truly a mini that represents the big one somewhat. The big one has a lot of shades, but this, like that very beautiful deep green teal type of color, and then everything around, um, you know, just accompanying that color. I think it looks really, really nice, but I already have the Metropolis, so I don't need it. And I think it's funny that we already have a sneak peek of uh, this one while we are also just playing around with the retro palette, but yeah. Okay, last thing. Um, this is by HipDot, and they have revealed their latest collaboration. It's with Hasbro. Hasbro? 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 And it's a um, introducing game night. So you have a Ouija board, you have Play-Doh, and you have Monopoly. The Monopoly palette is 30 bucks. The Play-Doh is 26 and the Ouija board is 26. You can also um, get them in a bundle and then you pay $74. It's already live um, on HipDot and it's coming soon to Ulta. Hmm. Hmm. No. Nothing about this intrigues me, so I'm not going to get this. But you know it's there. Okay, ladies, that is it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below, as per usual, what you have seen that is revealed or sneak peek that you are really excited about. I would love to hear that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And please consider subscribing because I would love to see you in my next one. Bye!